everybody. Welcome. Thank you so much for coming out today. My name's Luke. I'm sure we've, uh, some of you I've met, some of you I've talked to. It's good to meet you in person. How's everyone doing today? Hey. Hey. <laughs> hey, so yeah, thanks so much for coming out here today. As you know, we're here to renew Cargill's vow to stop destroying our forests. We've got our huge banner here. But um, six years ago tomorrow, in 2014, the Cargill CEO, David McLennan, he stood in front of the whole world of the United Nations, and he promised that by 2020, Cargill would no longer destroy forests. They would eliminate deforestation from their supply chains across the world. As you know, this has not happened. The forests are still burning. Just last year, the forest fires in the Amazon have gone up 28% from this time last year. We've seen all the news stories about the West Coast being completely inflamed. And this cannot continue. These fires, you know, I mean, these forests, especially in the Brazilian Amazon, this is literally the rainforest that gives us the air we need to breathe. The Amazon and its ecosystem are on the precipice of collapse and cargo, and their actions are at the center of this cataclysm. Instead of honoring their promise, They'd rather destroy the forest, misplace indigenous people, and decimate animal life, all in pursuit of profits to enrich themselves. What makes this even more egregious is that with the vast resources at Cargo's disposal, they could easily do business without endangering communities and the destruction that has followed. In 2018, Cargill made over $110 billion of revenue. They're the largest privately held corporation in the entire country. They're enormous. Their resources know no end. A lot of other companies have chosen to reimagine their business. They've chosen to take action to change their ways. Cargill has not. They've ignored every opportunity. I'm streaming for my ears right now. To initiate con conservation and change their acts. They continue to choose to destroy the ecosystem, decimating the planet's biodiversity, killing off numerous animal species. They choose to not take part in conservation efforts that are happening all over the globe. Their commitments and statements ring hollow in the face of the ruin their company has wrought on this planet. Just this week, just a few days ago, Cargill announced a new commitment vaguely promising to improve farming practices on 10 million acres of North American farmland by 2030. But looking at their long history of making ambitious, highly publicized promises and their abject failure to follow through on any of them, it's impossible to take their word that meaningful action will be done. All across our country, all across the world and beyond, industrial and farming, pollination of agriculture, is having a really negative effect on our soil, polluting our water, destroying the quality of our food. We deserve and we need to know that our soil is safe, our water is safe to drink, and despite having the resources to make a change, actually do something significant to combat climate change, Cargill has chosen again and again to only intensify their program of eco-construction. Right? In addition, Cargill gives vast sums of money to our museums, like the lovely Mia. They donate to universities like the U. And this destruction, and this distracts from the destruction that's happening on a daily basis. We're gathered here today to send them a message. We have not forgotten about their commitment. We will not accept their ecological annihilation to continue. That's why we're here today, to tell Cargill, keep your promise. 
stop destroying the rainforest. This is not acceptable. This cannot continue. There's far too much at stake to allow this to continue happening. So, you guys can all see, we've got this ludicrously large banner here. And <laughs> show our solidarity. We're going to be signing the banner, demanding that cargo cease sourcing from suppliers engaged in deforestation. Demand that they enforce the system in which they don't source from cleared land and demand that they embrace regenerative agricultural practices. So, one by one, I would love to invite each of y'all to come up, sign your name on the banner here. As well, if you feel comfortable, take 30 seconds to just share with us, the rest of us here, why you're calling on cargo to take action and why you chose to uh, take time out of your day to come out here to the action tonight. Thank you so much for being here today and let's continue to tell cargo to keep their promise. Thanks a lot, guys. Thank you.
movement, which is um, um, part of our promise to to regenerative agriculture. They put this out over the weekend, and I just want to point out that that is a very loose term. Basically, that just means that they're going to stop putting out the Amazon in order to farm cattle and other animals, but instead they're going to monocrop things like soybeans, which still have an immense um, negative impact on the agriculture and will require them to displace many indigenous communities which have nowhere else to go and um, they don't compensate them at all for displacing them from uh, their homeland and as we know no one is protected from the disasters of the climate crisis as we're seeing in California right now and we can no longer um, decide that we're going to ignore the interconnected issues of climate change and even though Cordell is wants us to believe that they're taking steps in the right direction, they are not, and we cannot consider them to hold themselves accountable, and therefore we should not take this promise seriously until we start seeing real change. Over this guy who is 
name is Michael Pierce. That's his name. Uh, no, James Pierce, I'm sorry. Got to remember that. Pierce is his last name, James is his first name. Two candidates are trying to get elected. Two candidates who care about the climate and the environment. We actually care about agriculture, getting pesticides off the grass, getting GMO away from the grass. Are you caution to cane? Who's t shirt I'm wearing right now? Along with Janet Gatui. They're wonderful people and hoping we're gonna get both of them elected Cargill from taking over our government. Thanks. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to this live stream. My name is Emma. I'm guest streaming today for Mighty Earth here in Minneapolis. We are live right now outside of the Minneapolis Institute of Arts on the big steps with this really, really large ba banner here that folks are signing. We're here because in September of 2014, Cargill pledged to stop clearing forests by this year, and Cargill has not yet met that promise. possible to like take the, this picture and photoshop it and uh, hang it from uh, hang, hang it from up there? Probably not because it's not straight. Yeah, right. Flat. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Maybe uh, Photoshop could not be it or something like that. Yeah. I, I don't know. I'm not a Photoshop person. So. Yeah. Thanks for coming out. Yeah. Hey there. Hi, John. Hello, everyone. Um, wow, this is, is this friendly as well? Yeah. 
My name's Luke. I'm the Mighty Earth organizer for this action. Thanks for tuning in to our fabulous live stream. Um, what we're doing here today is we're having this action to keep Cargill on notice that they need to keep with their promise from 2014 to eliminate deforestation from their supply chain. They originally promised that they would do it by this year. We know that hasn't happened. The Amazon is still burning. So that's why we're holding this action today sending a message to the CEO of Cargill, David McLennan, asking him to keep his word, commit to measures that will eliminate deforestation and stop the wreckage that Cargill's going off on our, Cargill's inflicting on our, um, our rainforest, especially in the Amazon. So everyone here is signing their names and uh, to the, the giant banner and uh, sharing a little bit about, you know, what brought them out here today. Thank you. No problem. I'll track down my spot. Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. I'm Charlie. I'm from Southside. Uh, shout out Southside. Shout out Lower. Uh, I came here today to try to get more into the climate change movement because honestly, we've been focusing on houses and fields mostly. So I wanted to come out here and extend a hand. Uh, so just wanted to say a few words about I think what y'all are doing out here, especially Mighty Earth and MM350. It's really awesome. It's really cool. I'd like to help out as much as possible. But also, uh, 30th in Chicago, if anybody has been there and kind of got you into the movement, I know, it's awesome, right? It is still a free autonomous zone down there. There are no police allowed down there. 
It's a free zone for anybody that wants to come. There's free food. There's all this stuff down there. They still host community meetings every night at 7. If you're looking to get more in back into the movement, there's a ton of really cool people down there. The city council has been saying stuff like it's a lawless place and it's full of extortionists and everything. That is absolutely not true. I just want to reach out and be like, yo, come hang out. It's a really cool place. Every night at 7 o'clock, if you're trying to get more involved, community meetings, it's a dope place. Come check it.
Okay, on three. One, two, three. No trumps, no pets, no cake, cake. Oh. <laughs> no Trump, no Pence, no KKK, no Fascist USA. Come on. No Trump, no Pence, no KKK, no Fascist USA. Not again. No Trump, no Pence, no KKK, no Fascist USA. No Trump, no Pence, no KKK, no Fascist USA. First nope. protest, uh, <laughs> that was the one we met at the Kmart parking lot on Lake Street. Yeah. Uh, uh, yep. to, this is cold. I agree with that. Yeah, I think I've heard different versions. Check, check. Hell yeah. <laughs> when, when it's uh, uh, well, I always like, oh, he gets too much attention. Talk about. <laughs> when I say climate, I mean, you say justice.
um, clean water. And then the third time I'll say more profits. Uh, then you say uh, food for all. How about that? I like that. Okay, say it again. It's clean air, clean water, and food for all. Yes. Okay. More profits. Clean, clean air. air. More profits. Clean, clean water. More profits. Food for all. More profits. Clean air. More profits. Clean water.
There tends to be more pollution in areas that are heavily people of color. I know that, but... Yeah, yeah. Let's get black, let's get white and bad. Oh, 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 that's not camera. This one's a well, yeah. It's a phone. So three cameras. Yeah. Well, sometimes I also <laughs> do this at the same Four time. Four cameras. Yeah. <laughs> do you mind if I take a picture of your mask? No. It's such a good mask. <laughs> Like a month ago, and the city outbid them for it. They were trying to turn it into a farm. And that was really good, though. <laughs> you were ready. <laughs> Quick.
so my name is Laura. I'm from Clean Water Action, Minnesota. Um, I'm the Field to Fork organizer for the organization. And we're here today to hold Cargill accountable for the promises that they made back in 2014. They are now re-promising things that they just haven't even bothered to try to accomplish in the first place. So we want to make sure that they know that we're paying attention. So there's a lot of different things having to do with Cargill. The one that I am most focused on as part of my organization is the pollution from um, factory farming that happens from places like Cargill. So Cargill is one of the largest factory farming or companies in the world. So it not only um, increases greenhouse gases, but also increases the pollution of our land. It makes it so that if you do monocrops, people can't actually be able to replant crops in the future. It gets rid of soil health. It's just, it's really, really, really terrible. So we need to hold them accountable. So, yeah. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. For those that are just joining us, we are live right now in Minneapolis, outside of the Minneapolis Institute of Art. Folks are gathered here because Cargill pledged in September of 2014 that they would stop clearing forests by this year, but they have not met that promise. So on the anniversary of that promise, folks are here demanding that Cargill act on the promises that they've made. There's this big banner here on the steps of MIA. And the people that have gathered have stepped forward to sign. There are names signed here, but a couple of messages directed to Cargill also.
sort of <laughs> Got the park police driving through the park <laughs> across the street. Yeah, why don't you go up and get that back to him? Yeah, why don't you go up and get that back to him? Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Oh, that's the other side. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Oh, that's the other side. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go up there and do your thing, man. Sorry. Yeah, go
it is more important than ever that we continue to speak out and hold giant agriculture, uh, ag agriculture, agriculture corporations accountable for their environmental crimes. When companies like Cargill are able to launder their public image through donations and institutions like the Mia Museum, the museum and, uh, and our flagship university, it continues to normalize the presence <laughs> the presence of a world leader uh, in deforestation and resource extraction here in our society. That's why we are gathered here today to call out CEO David McLennan, as well as all the companies and institutions complicit in their environmental devastation. has shown time and time again that they have means, that they will not abide by their promises. Yeah. It's up to us to continue putting the pressure on Cargill and our clients and associates to prevent them from continuing to help our planet burn. We cannot sit by and watch our rainforest be dismantled and our animal life snuffed out. This action is only one step. We cannot force Cargill to change through one individual action alone. But by banding together in solidarity, we can fight for our planet on a united front. Thank you again for coming out today alongside my dear to call on Cargill to abide by their 2014 pledge to end deforestation. Y'all are fucking awesome and really, really pretty good looking people. Thank you so much for coming out. Uh, be safe, be brave, and uh, fuck Carl Bill. And I think that that was the last speaker we're going to hear from here. Again, we are live in Minneapolis in front of the Minneapolis Institute of Arts um, with Mighty Earth and a bunch of other organizations with this massive banner <laughs> that is a letter that the folks gathered here signed. They would love if David McLennan, the CEO, CEO of Cargill, also signed this giant banner letter. Again, we are here because it is the anniversary of the day in 2014 when Cargill pledged to stop deforestation, and that has not happened yet. So the activists here want to put pressure on Cargill to follow through with the promises that they've made, um, as well as a bunch of other things. The banner here says to ban the sale of any crop produced on land that was deforested during or after 2020, use a third-party monitoring system for enforcing this ban on deforestation, trace Cargill's full supply chain to identify and monitor all direct and indirect suppliers, adopt regenerative farming practices on existing lands, and advocate for government policies that protect native vegetation, indigenous communities, and local communities.
All right, things are wrapping up here, so thanks again for watching again. My name is Emma. I was guest streaming today for Mighty Earth, and thank you for watching and for sharing this stream. Um, keep your eye on Mighty Earth's page and some of the other pages of the other hosts here for more information about what they are doing, specifically with Cargill and other things, and for any future actions. Thank you!